A global gathering of young minds sitting down to talk science and solution on issues like global warming. Throughout history, science has always progressed when one shares experience, expertise across borders. And this is what this week is about. And we have focused discussions on some of those key societal challenges which are shared by all the BRICS nations, such as, for example, our response to climate change. How do we make our management of natural resources more sustainable? Or indeed, how do we understand the future of society in the age of technology disruption? The young scientists are excited to exchange ideas and promote education. We require these kind of uh, uh, forums wherein scientists can collaborate with each other, they can interact with each other, they can share their ideas, they can share their uh, innovative thoughts, as well as knowledge sharing can, be ha can happen in these kind of forums. Science and technology will promote uh, the uh, education, education methods and uh, will improve the labor force uh, performance. The conversion of scientists from developing countries is believed to strengthen the collective. Uh, I couldn't imagine a better place to find my people, uh, people who work on our future. So AI is our future and it is today and it's going and going uh, to grow. But When you put together scientists from uh, th these uh, different countries and they are like in the same stage, like developing, uh, I think when you connect and when it makes us stronger. The issue of funding for science education will also be looked at. I work with integrating, STEM uh, integrating artificial intelligence in STEM education. So what I'm trying to get from this forum is to get the awareness of um, getting funding into um, STEM education. We are here with a lot of scientists, we are here with a lot of engineers who are hardcore, but I feel as if we are excluded in science education or technology education be so. The three-day event precedes the BRICS Science, Technology and Innovation Ministerial Meeting scheduled for the 4th of August. Sinete Mawiti, SABC News, Abeja.